just play with emotions the whole game? What? What do you mean, play with emotions the whole game? I played with their emotions or with my- or his emotions? Okay, I was like, me, I was like, I don't think I played very emotional there. But, man, yeah, I got a little scary getting down to one. It was a bit spooky. A little bit spooky. Hey, Stormy Bing, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Or Stormy Vin, I should say. Welcome to the stream. Tussle's built more around balance, while we're built more around fun. A little bit. Hey, Epic, thank you so much for the 18 months. Thank you so much for that sub. Appreciate it. Hope you've been doing well. It's been a while since we talked, but I always love seeing you. Um, yeah, I mean, LR has a little bit more built around fun, but not to a fault. Like, I feel like Hearthstone, for me personally, it's to a fault, but for this game, I don't really mind it that much. Like, I think it's- I think it's a good thing to an extent as well. I got Vile Feast, but that's okay. I mean, Avalanche could be in the cards. We'll see. Do you play in tournaments? I haven't played any tournaments for this game. I am going to be casting, though, very soon. Hey, Rex. Thanks for that follow. Welcome. Um, I am going to be casting a tournament, though, and I'm really excited about that. Um, that's going to be on, like, the 29th or 30th? Um, I don't know if it's announced officially, so I probably shouldn't say too much more for it yet. But, yep, yeah, I will be casting one soon. Caster knows the game impossible. Man, casters get so much crap, but we have some really good casters too. Like, um, Casanova, Lobster, when they cast, they're both really good. There's probably other ones too. But, man, yeah, casters get so much crap though. Like, in Tussle, I knew stuff, and I had it down pretty well, and I felt like I casted that game pretty well, and people still gave me crap all the time. It was... Like, people are so hard on casters. Like, speaking and thinking about the game from both pers both perspectives in both hands without being biased when you can see the hand is pretty hard. It's much harder than people give it credit for. Corruption everywhere. Twitch, yeah, I mean, Twitch Rival is a different story. Honestly, I think uh, the NA casting side was fine, but the EU casting side, oh, let's never talk about that again. That was, uh, the EU casting side was pretty monkus. LCK was better than Rivals? Are you talking about the Korean scene versus Twitch Rivals? <laughs> that double catalyst though? Yeah, I'm pretty- I'm, I'm a bit spooked out here. My double- my double fading memories without toss cards is- it's- it's lacking a bit, not gonna lie. Yeah, I might be in some trouble here. Like, I just got- this is not a hand. That helps. This helps a lot, actually. Can I just greed pot it? Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Turn six, turn to mirror. Yeah. <laughs> if there's anything that can save me, though, it's this. Just pass your turn, please. Does this deck run a card that gets rid of your opponent's cards in the deck except for six or seven cards? Yeah, that's a uh, Malachi, except it goes down to four. 
I don't have Vengeance in this deck and I need to put two Vengeance in pronto. It's a mistake not to have Vengeance in this deck. I don't know why I didn't- I don't have it in already. What do I take out? I'll probably take out the Atrocity. So minus one Atrocity and... Wait, they're not attacking? Bless! Oh, they're not. I don't say ruination's a bit annoying, but it's fine. Question is, do I want Lajos or do I want a ship? A shipwreck hoarder. I mean, honestly, I don't know how to get out of this anyway. Pretty sure I'm just dead. Taking Ladros, but play a card, any card, <laughs> please. It's fine. Chat, they don't know Keck W. Man, I hope they don't have uh, atrocity. I started climbing with the uh, Bilgewater Burn deck. Currently, with the bilge water, hey Prestipic, um, uh, the bilge water burn deck, like which one? Did you make a new version? Have I seen it? I'm just gonna do this because I'll make my life easier, too. Don't want some sw swim site. I'll have to look at it. Bilge water and Nox, probably. Yeah, it's well, I mean, if you're playing Bilgewater, burn. Nox pretty much has to be the burn. PNZ is the only other option. PNZ is kind of poopy. Is it how similar? Oh, you built it? Oh, I'll have to look at it. Yeah, that's pretty free. I really hope they don't have atrocity. I mean, if they do have atrocity, I counter it with atrocity, but still, it's like, it's a bit spooky because <laughs> it's like an atrocity. Yeah, it's pretty pug draw. Sets up lethal easier. I mean, the other option was to play Fading Memories on Ladros and play that. Set it down to, um, to f seven. I think uh, making a wide board is going to be better though. Use the atrocity to destroy the atrocity. That's exactly what I'm saying. If they have if they have atrocity, which I don't know, it'd be kind of a greedy deck for them to have atrocity. I mean, this is a full ramp deck though, so you don't really know. It probably has harrowing or something in it too. Not that that's wrong.
Was it right just to play Keelbreaker here first? No, because of atrocity. Pepe hands. I trust you, your atrocity. It might happen. Ignivia dies of Vile Feast? Yeah. It's actually gonna be relevant for once. I need to get them below Vengeance range. Like, really bad. They have to have vengeance. Yeah, die, Ignivia. I mean, if they glimpse this or something, and then I just atrocity them to death. Alright, let's look at the bilge burn. I do agree that Game Clink is terrible in that deck. Alright, we pass. They have vengeance. Oh, you added Wave Rider to it. I like the Citrus Core you add. Just maybe not seen forever. Yeah, I like it. Looks really good to me. One HP egg? Yeah, I killed the one HP egg, but I didn't want to play into Vengeance. That was my big thing. Man, they played a turn 6 Trindamir, and I think we're gonna be just fine. I don't care about that. Fading memories onto Abyssal Eye might be correct, but if I do that, they'll play Room Nation. Then if they do that, then I play Atrocity. Some win-win. They have literally nothing they can do against this. They can Vile Feast, I guess. To live, but that doesn't win them the game. Yep. It's fine. Vengeance. Uh, uh, you're a little bit behind, Munchkin. <laughs> These things have already happened. <laughs> nom nom, eaty fish. <laughs> yeah. Lots of nomming there. I have to open attack. But I'm sorry for not playing the treasure this round. Man, getting out of this game. Have you tried Hyrulux? No, I haven't tried it yet. I think it's probably a bit overhyped. I feel like you either want Lux or Hymer as the win condition. I think running both is going to be overkill. Turns out the aggro deck has a bad SI matchup. Keck W. <laughs> I never would have guessed. What are the new champs in the new expansion? Uh, Diana, Tarek, or Tarek. Um, Leona, Zoe, Erlian Soul, Shivana. There's a couple other ones, but I don't remember them right now. That's a new board. It's a little bright for my eyes. Hey, Marat Duo. Dragons? Oh, um, your next expansion? There's definitely dragons next expansion, but that was, uh, that was from, uh, leaked, <laughs> a leaked Google Doc, or a Google Doc that someone leaked the names. 
But I don't want to spoil that if most people like want me to say what's in that. I don't know if I should. Hey, I'm doing well. How about you? Hey, look, we're in a deep matchup. This was our whole idea. Our whole idea is to play an anti-deep deep deck. Honestly, though, the best thing to do in the mirror is to just mill faster. It's whoever levels up Malachi first in the mirror. After Swim and I played it against each other for four hours straight, we determined that whoever, <laughs> whoever plays, what do you call it? Um, whoever gets Malachi going first wins the game. We thought about playing three Thresh and two Malachi and one not. Um, is Malachi's a good engine? Uh, insane curve out. I think you need three Malachi for sure. I think Nautilus can be a bit bricky. The reason I don't like three Thresh is because, you know, you'll mill yourself to a pretty low number where you just have champions. And top decking multiple Thresh is a good way to lose. I'm even thinking about cutting him even though in the past I've been a pretty big fan They can't kill Malachi here. The blessed isles live through me. Sweet. Bum ba dum ba dum bum bum ba dum ba dum bum. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Shaw Hunter? Shaw Hunter's amazing. Works really well with fading memories, gives you more resources in the mirror. And it's a and it, you know, kills misfortune and other heroes. Jaw Hunter is such a good card. Doing also enjoying the event, that's I like to hear that. I'm having a lot of fun with the event too. They bring the boop voice line to LOR. <laughs> it's like the info, then don't share, don't want to ruin it for anyone. Yeah, that's kinda what I'm thinking too. I have Wild Feast in hand, so I'm pretty okay doing this. I think we've already won this game. I'm not gonna lie, I think we've already won it. So, Ruination kinda sucks. Attack with everything. That's not a ruination block, though. Weird. Minus one, so they have one more. to level up this mal or this nautilus thanks okay they lost i'm gonna go take a short nap have a good stream silver hey i'm probably gonna be streaming for like four hours or something so i'll see you later assuming you're up <laughs> 
do you think about the Ash and Ijimani deck that's been going around a lot? I think it's really, really strong. Um, how long it'll rain, I think is questionable. I don't see it lasting forever. I think uh, we're gonna figure out a good burn aggro deck that's going to push it out of the meta. Is my thought on it. I think burn aggro is still very, very good. Hmm. I should have played Shipwreck Hoarder instead. That's okay though. It's not a big deal. I like this mid range meta. I still think Burn is like. Incredibly good. Told me about this one. Like really good. Like, for example. Too good not to pass. Drag them down. This attack's not very good. So, we have eight cards here. We wanted to be careful on how many we have because of treasures. Hey, Glasses Freak. Also, hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Man, I really wish I had my own Nautilus. Hey, Lasho, thanks for the follow. Welcome. I don't really care about their hand. Three teeth told me about this one. Just care about killing them here. Mm. You can redevelop as much as you want, but the game should be about over. Like I said, treasures are treasures are OP. We got egg and stuff too. <laughs> that's a that's dookie. Couldn't use fading on that. Okay. 
Kick W. Where's my Maokai? It's not Maokai. Or Nautilus. I need them both. Do you hear the call? Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, they have a second atrocity, I'm gonna cry. I was really hoping they would block the Nautilus though. BW Knox, what do you mean? Kind of kick W. they don't have atrocity. Okay, they'd use it here. If they did. <laughs> Kek, wait. At last. The elusive fishy's a bit scary. No grass. Direct face damage. I think I need to get stuff out of my hand though. Hmm, save it. Where's my Nautilus? I mean, my Maokai. Not you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that's awkward. Why would you do that? What? They saw me get that. Man, imagine that's a five damage phase too. I mean, Maokai's leveled for them now, but I don't really care. The treasures won me the game. 
atrocity race? Now they already used one. They're probably only running one. They might be running two. Okay, I was gonna say. Man, how? I was just gonna find Malachi and Turbo Malachi. Easiest treasure to decimate. I was thinking uh, Relentless Pursuit would be pretty solid. I thought about it, but the uh, kill breaker was too good there. I wanted to win that game, but dang. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. 